Hello, my name is Grave the Crows, and today we will be playing Diablo 2 as Amazon. In the last episode we clear Act 2 and today we'll be starting Act 3. Welcome to Karas, traveler. Few come willingly to this ancient city anymore. I hope you brought your wits with you, for sanity is in short supply here. My name is Ratli. I am a sorcerer skilled in metalwork. It'd be a pleasure to help you. I don't have many customers these days. As you can see, the populace has been brutally decimated by the forces of Mephisto. The canals run red with blood, and demons roam the land. The wretched jungle hell has already reclaimed much of Karast. The only safety you'll find is here at the dark side, where a magical warding holds the jungle evils at bay. But I don't know how long it will last. To make matters worse, the children of Zakarum are in league with the forces of Mephisto. The Zakarum have concentrated their power in the temple city of Travancol, located within Karas deep in the jungle wilderness. It's true, their zeal is unmatched, but I say the so-called warriors of light are nothing more than the twisted puppets of a hidden hand. So we're going to speak to everyone, and after this we'll be starting exploring the map. You now speak to Ormus. He was once a great mage, but now lives like a rat in a sinking vessel. You have questions for Ormus, and doubt in yourself. Ormus sees a strange dichotomy in you, as he does in all would-be heroes. Speak to him, and he may grant you wisdom in turn, or turn from him and seek wisdom in thyself. I've not set foot in glorious Kurast for many years, but I never would have imagined it could be so corrupted. Certainly this must be Mephisto's work. You'd best get going, my friend. Diablo and Bale are still out there, and you must find them. Damn it! I wish you people would just leave me alone. I... Oh, you're new here, aren't you? I am Alcor the Alchemist. I dabble in potions and salves, and I can sell you some if you really need them. But don't make a habit of coming here. I don't like to be disturbed while I'm studying. Hello there. You must be an Amazon. I've heard about your people. Nomadic warriors without peer. My name's Ashira, and I lead the mercenary band of mages known as the Iron Wolves. We've been hunting down demons in the jungle for months. But no matter how many of them we kill, they just keep coming. Seems this whole place has been overrun by evil. Rumor has it that you've come here to help. If that's true, then I'll let you hire some of my mercenaries. But be careful. If you piss them off, they can be worse than those monsters out in the jungle. Greetings, hero. I've heard of your exploits, and, uh, I'm quite impressed. Very few mortals are capable of dealing with the Three and their minions, as you have. My name is Natalia. I am a hunter of evil, part of an ancient order sworn to hunt down corrupted sorcerers. If I could, I would gladly join your quest to stop the Three. But I must wait here for further news. I can't predict what will happen, but the danger is greater than we can know. Until I receive my orders, I'll assist you with the information I have. 
so okay we are going to explore the map and maybe we can acquire the first quest first we are going after the dark wonder or Okay, so we need to find some location. So we're going to explore and kill the monster. So for me, this act is one of the longest act because we need to run. Uh, uh, long, long distance distances. Uh, this is good that there is a portal to the place. So when you once find them, you can teleport to them. You don't need to go to them again and again. Maybe first act is bigger than the act, but uh, you need to go to the same place in this map uh, multiple times because there's no portals to the location that you need to go. location that you need to find. But when you find them there's a location when you can easily find the rooms. But when I played uh, have very good luck. Seriously, this is my first time when I played and so many runes are dropping from my enemies and I played alone. Uh, there's no runes dropping from enemy other than location that we're going. And the tower when in one of the episodes I cleared multiple times to have the rooms that I needed on flower. So I'm very happy to have this lucky run. So we need to find one of the Entrance. The sp spider covers. I think the spider cover on this. No, there's no portal. So I think that this isn't the one. But I can be wrong. wrong. Okay, so we are here, we can find out. First, I identify, identify, identify my amulets and things, and and I think this is better. I think I we needed three slots for mana. In the future. Okay. So I can give this. I don't remember the name of the entrance that we need to enter to find 
item for the quest. Uh, uh, the first quest we acquire uh, uh, when you bring the monsters, you have the chance that there will be dropped uh, legendary uh, figure. And after this, you need to uh, go to village and go trade with. Uh, some characters. This is one of the irritated thing quests because you need to go to the one dude. After this, you need to go to the other dude, and he ne he said you need to go to the other dude. And after this, you need to wait, and you you get a uh, health boost. And I remember. So this is. Oh, this what is would the this bring trade. from the right buyer? So this is. Oh, shall we? Oh, this is the place where we need to go to find the, uh, one of the quests. Uh, to. This is. I think the third and or five fifth of uh, fifth quest one of these. Uh, this is the third. Uh, seriously, I don't remember how could you uh, acquire this quest other. Why other uh, way? I think that when you clear this quest, you will be talking to Doctor Kane, and he will be doing this quest to you. But first, I am going to. Uh, Back in Lugolane, Meshif told me he had a fondness for jade figurines. On his trading voyages, he collected an odd assortment of such small statues. I would show him your figurine. Ah, Kalim's eye. Only it can reveal the true path to Mephisto. Place the eye in the Herodric cube along with Kalim's other relics. The heart, the brain, and the flail. Um, so this first dialogue is about the jade figure and second about the eye of the climber climbs eye greetings i'm going to solve this quickly and buy potions okay now we can go so this is the quest and you need to go to this guy. Well, I gave you my word and brought you here as promised. But by all that's still holy, I wish I'd never return to this accursed place. This fetid jungle can't be the fair Kurost I left behind. I don't know what all this evil is, my friend, but it's obvious that you must stop it. I only pray that you can before the jungle consumes the last vestiges of my beloved homeland. Praise you. That jade figurine will complete the set I was collecting. Here, I've had this statuette of a golden bird for years, but I consider it a fair exchange. I forgot to talk to them at the beginning, so he firstly go told me the starting. Uh, dialogue and after this the quest dialogue. So we need to go to the card cane. And after this we need to go to other guy. I've read legends about a sage named Kuile who studied the mysteries of life beyond death. If I remember correctly, his ashes were ensconced within a golden statuette. It was a very strange tale.
Um, so this is one of the quest when you need to go to win. And after this, ah, uh, um, by Hello? the way, when you play it, uh, you can go to this house uh, after we he stand in the uh, doors and he will be stuck. I sometimes go this and I don't remember that you can you could uh, escape without the portion uh, the portion or uh, restarting the game so I, be, I need to be uh, ah, the golden bird of Quile thank you my friend busy yourself while I experiment with the ashes within it then return and see what I have made for you So this waiting will be very very long, of course. I can already talk to the Good evening. <laughs> yes. No. So we really need to wait. From the ashes of Guile, I have mixed for you a potion. <laughs> so this time you need to go for the s other side of the bridge and he... Oh, I create this. Uh, so this is will be going to give me 20 life. Maximum life. I'm going to find someone that can repair my stuff. Oh. Yes, appeared. As I told you before, I placed an enchantment upon the dark side in order to keep the demons at bay. But lately, the enchantment seems to be weakening. If memory serves me correctly, there is a holy Skatsimi blade that could revitalize the enchantment. The blade is called the Gidpin. Find it, and our sanctuary here will remain safe. Good evening. So I need to find a blade for him. Yes, uh, uh, I think I need to find some potions and... Uh, 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 with this in the chest, so uh, in the future that we can do something with it and gold too. Never forget that your ultimate purpose here in Kurast is to destroy Mephisto. The ancient Horodrim imprisoned the Lord of Hatred inside the Guardian Tower that is located within the temple city of Travancall. Know this, friend. The only way to gain entry to Mephisto's prison is to destroy the artifact known as the Compelling Orb. Mephisto used this device to control the Zakarum priests and their followers. The orb can only be destroyed with an ancient flail imbued with the spirit of the one incorruptible priest. Soon after his imprisonment, Mephisto worked his evil corruption on the Zakarum priesthood. All were turned to his dark ways, save one, Kalim, the K. Hagen of the High Council. Mephisto directed the other council priests to slay and dismember Kalim, and then scatter his remains across the kingdom. The priest Sankakur succeeded Kalim as K. Hagen, eventually becoming the embodiment of Mephisto here on the mortal plane. The corrupted High Council fashioned an orb to control the rest of the Zakarum faithful, and used their powers to hide the lair of their master from mortals. Your task is to collect the scattered relics of Kalim. 
his heart, his brain, and his eye. Then, using the Horodric Cube, transmute Kalim's flail with his relics. Once this is accomplished, you must destroy the compelling orb with Kalim's will to open the way into the corrupt sanctum of Mephisto. Okay, so this is the way that you will be giving the third quest. And uh, in the mm, beginning of this dialogue, uh, when he is told, uh, don't forget about your pur purpose here. I think that yes, because the main character uh, is going in the park or to the shop uh, and not going to fight the monsters. He, uh, the monsters are attacking humans? No, I'm going to the shop and go shopping. And the Kalkane is saying, no, you need to remember your purpose. And after this, he, this I think that and I, he will be talking this story. I'll be forgetting this purpose because of this dialogue, because this is so long that is keep waste of time. <laughs> of course we need the score and other things, but <laughs> this is like um, you need to uh, to find this things you need to hurry but you need to listen to this very very long story because you cannot go without it you will be forgetting your purpose here you need to listen <laughs> So I'm going to find the portal now and I'm going to go and this because this is a little long. I was going in the first place to have uh, 20 minutes films but this change of the episodes. I'm going to fastly find the portal and end this today. that I think of because there's a second player uh, and don't I don't remember that I need to go to that uh, dungeon or this dungeon so okay so uh, I'm going to end this now and I'm going to start from this point in the next episode. So see you next time.